What's happening in Israel right now is extremely uh, serious, uh, important, and biblically significant. This is something that's not going away. This is Bible prophecy. I've been teaching on Bible prophecy for 41 years. I've been studying it for 48 years. And it's something that's always intrigued me. And one of the things that Jesus said about the end times, and we're definitely living in the end times, he says, like birth pains. And uh, every woman knows that birth pains don't get better. They get worse until something is birthed. They also are closer together. And what we're seeing in the world is just an increasing intensity to world events, uh, especially related to Israel. And Israel is ground zero for the end times. The end times couldn't even happen without Israel existing as a nation. And when they were reborn in 1948, it was an absolute miracle, but it was also an end time sign that the end had begun. Um, American forces, uh, we have sent, and, and I'm thankful that we have sent a very strong military presence to Israel. We have the USS Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group in the Mediterranean. We have the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower Strike Group in the Persian Gulf. These are very, very powerful naval and military assets uh, in that area. We have warships throughout that area. We have atomic subs through that, nuclear subs through that area. Uh, they don't disclose the location of those, but we have very, very strong military assets there to support Israel, which is really the only reason I believe that Hezbollah has not attacked uh, from the north more than they have. They're firing missiles, but nothing like they have the potential of doing. Uh, our bases, uh, American military bases in Syria and Iraq have been struck dozens of times. We have a mil American military personnel who have been injured, none killed to date. Uh, but last week, a uh, U.S. Uh, fighter plane struck uh, a munitions depot in Syria, uh, which is controlled by Iran. And that's the first time we've had direct military engagement. But we have told Hezbollah and Iran and the militias in Syria that if they strike Israel, we will respond to protect Israel. And I'm very thankful for the American military presence there. And so... And so there's an Ezekiel 38 and 39 war that's going to happen. Uh, and it is Russia, Iran, Turkey, the Sudan, and Libya. Those are the main players in the Ezekiel 38 and 39 war. All of those nations have galvanized in the last several weeks against Israel and with each other. This, this coalition has been building for many years. Isn't it amazing that 25, 27, 2800 years ago, the prophets in the Bible told us exactly what the world would look like right now? Geopolitically right now, the world looks identically the way the Bible said would happen at the end. And isn't also interesting that the Bible says at the very end, the whole world would turn against Israel. I'm going to read a scripture here in just a minute that will show that. Now, what do you see in the news every day? The whole world turning against Israel. But there's going to be some wars. What, I, what is happening right now in Israel is a fulfillment, I believe, of Psalm 83. The Psalm 83 war when all of the surrounding nations of Israel come against them and say, let us cut off Israel, that there'll be a nation no more. And it says Philistia is one of those nations, that's Gaza. It says Assyria is one of those nations, that's Syria. So all these surrounding is Psalm 83, that's the war. Of course, Ezekiel 38 and 39, the Gog and Magog war, that's also gonna happen at some point in time here soon. And all of the players are there. They're on the northern border. Iran, uh, Russia, the United States has bases there, but also Turkey. Those forces are on the northern border of Israel. And Iran is trying to build a military uh, uh, fortification on the northern border to attack them. And Israel strikes them every day with their, with their jets. And so we're going to see some wars. But the next thing that's going to happen, because I know a lot of people are anxious. Well, let me say this. Jesus said, when you see these things begin to happen, look up and lift up your head, your redemption draws near. So here's the good news, Jesus is coming. That's, what, that's the good news. Jesus is coming. And as believers, we need to remember that. But the other thing is the Antichrist is coming.